Hey everybody, welcome back! Falcon, holy potatoes, a weapon shop? Episode number six. Alrighty, so off camera I was doing a little bit of researching, a little bit of an off camera save as well, just to kind of get more acquainted with new things that we're kind of getting uh, introduced to it here. Now, if I'm correct here, this is going to be my assertion for now. Uh, we learned a lot of things going forward, right? Obviously, if we want to get our weapons involved in the awards going forward from now on, we have to sell everything that we make in order to get into the awards. That's uh, number one. Number two, we have an issue over here with Cloud. He wants us to make a, his make his busted sword. Not the buster sword, but the busted sword. Now, the requirements for this is actually kind of high. I don't think we can actually meet this requirement just yet, the 308 strength, just because we don't really have enough people powered up in the whole strength category over here. So what I'm thinking we're going to be doing is we're going to actually bypass this for a second, and we'll just do some leveling up here on the side. So meanwhile, we have Reset Peters over here coming back from that selling. Perfect, that gives us a bit more money because we're kind of low on money. And that's going to get this guy up to level 25, maxed out Soldier's Axe. Perfect. A rating? Alrighty. So, now this is going to introduce us to changing job classes, by the way. Now that you have an enchanter, your smiths can share knowledge and, sh and change their job classes. The bottom most panel on your right allows you to change the smith's job, which will be this over here. So whenever they, I believe, hit max level, they're not going to be obviously able to gain more experience in that regard. So you might as well just switch them over to another class so they kind of start focusing on some other abilities that they actually upgrade down the line. So that's, you know, pretty basic, right? This part is not really too confusing. At this point, I don't think really much is confusing. It's just a matter of me actually just paying attention to these tutorials that pop up over here. But I think I pretty much have it now. So for smith training, forging weapons is not the only way for smiths to gain experience. You can now send your smiths in different areas to train them up. More experience means stronger weapons, so it is worth the price. So definitely that's something we want to do if we want to get that buster sword up and running. Now the thing is it's going to require a bunch of strength. So in order to make that happen, I do believe we're going to probably have to start training Laura Craft in the um, smith training category over here. So let's give this a try right now. We have a bit of money stored up, so that's fine. I think we might have a few more weapons to sell too that I was actually storing up for the awards. So we might actually try to get those as well to uh, get a bit of a more cash here. But we'll check that out pretty soon. For now, let's see, we have some pretty decent money. Let's find out where we could send her over here to train. So if I wanted to train her down here, this would be 70 experience for 929. Alrighty, good to know. 70 experience, right? 80 experience for a bit more cash, so that's a bit more experience, which is actually pretty ideal. And then we have 55. We might want to avoid that one. So I'm thinking we send her over here to the Winter New Olympics to do some training over here. That'll be like 80 experience for her. It's going to cost us 1,000, but that's fine. We have the money for it right now. So Lara Croft, are you going to go over there? Can I send more than one person to train? Probably not right now, but if I do go into the menu again, you could probably do this as well. So for now, we'll do Laura Craft for sure, though. So you are going to be training over there. Good luck to you, mate. Now, meanwhile that's going on, there's a few other things we can do. We could actually do some more exploring. We Remember, we opened up the new area, the Tower of Root Beer, or whatever it's called. So that's going to give us more items and new relics to possibly, hopefully, um, open up some more of the weapons down the line. But we also have an objective, which is actually to make a wand. We haven't made a wand just yet, and it doesn't seem like we actually can make a wand yet, so more than likely what this means is we have to find ourselves the proper relic to make that happen. So, what I'm thinking we do is, as much as I actually want to do that one, we have to research it first, right? So let's go to the world map here, and we're going to be going on an exploration here really quickly, assuming this letting us lets me pick. Let me choose it, my goddamn game! And we'll be going down over here. Now let's find out, obviously since we haven't researched here before, we have no idea what's, uh, what we're going to find. But hopefully one of the relics does turn out to be the um, catalyst to make the wands. So, since uh, Laura Craft is over there training right now, we're going to be sending our next explorer, which is going to be Russet Peters. So you, my friend, are going to be taking care of that one for me. We have a choice of fate as well. A little potato boy comes up and asks you for love advice. A stallion must run, my friend. So we have more speed for Russet Peters. Doesn't really matter, he's gone for today right now. We have two more people left the board over here. So at this point... Let's see about going back to the world map one more time, and let's see if we can sell a weapon. I, I do believe we have a few extra weapons, but let me make sure here. No, we actually don't. So we actually have sold all our weapons already. Good. All right, so what I could do here meanwhile is uh, let's go back to the workshop and, hmm, does the dog need to eat? Oh, dog, there you go. I I'll feed you. There you go. Um, let's do a training mission as well. Since we just got the Enchanter, he's going to be kind of a little bit low level compared to everybody else. I guess we should probably send him to train here. So, for instance, Volander Smith, 70 experience for 929. That seems okay. 80 experience for 1,000. Let's send him over here. Can you... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. So we'll send you over here where Laurel Craft is at. You guys watch over each other. Bog Bogan, it's just me and you for a while here, buddy. So let me just go ahead and actually forward this up a little bit more faster so we're done quicker with that regard. Laurel Craft is done. 
So she got herself some 80 experience, and she got also a bonus experience as well, so she got 96 completely. Not enough for a level, but hey, we got a bit more and that's fine. You come back over here. Next mine, we're gonna have Rusted Peters. Finally, and we got the Elemental Rune. This should hopefully give us the opening for the wands if I'm correct, so let's hope that actually happens. You come over here, and now we're going to be waiting for you to come back. That's going to give you an instant level, and maybe even more. Yeah, up to level 3 already, which is actually pretty good because it was level 1. So that's actually really ideal, and you come back to your station over here. Perfect. We have some research going on over here, and it's going to actually open up the wand. So this will be our next objective over here. Might as well just complete that now then. So let's find out which one's going to be the wand. There it is. That's got to be the wand. So this will give us wand 1, 2, 3... Four, and we have a relic for the level five weapons as well. Perfect. I, I guess we'll start off with the uh, lower level ones to actually build ourselves up a little bit here. So we'll go with you. Now, oddly enough, this is going to be an accurate wand. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, it does seem that way. Not enchantment related, but um, accuracy related. So our accurate person is going to be Rusted Peters. So you, my friend, start researching that one here. Meanwhile. You are doing that, right? Yeah, you're leaving. Perfect. So meanwhile you do that, let's do another training mission here as well. Uh, we're actually bleeding money now a little bit here, but I think it's going to be worth it. So let's go over here to this area, and we want to get Laura Craft up to level 5 as well. So this will be 70 experience, and I guess we'll probably send her back over here. It's going to cost us a thousand, but that's okay. Come over here and train. Perfect. And meanwhile you guys do that, we're going to have, even though he's not really a good explorer, we'll have... Maybe Bulk Bogan do a little bit of uh, exploring over here, and maybe you'll get lucky. So, you come over here. So, Enchanter, it's just me and you here for a second or two. Cloud, the Potato Strife, you're gonna have to wait over there, my, my friend. I'm actually leveling up these people to make that weapon for you. And, oh, we got so close to level 5. God damn it. I would have loved to hit at level 5 already. That's fine, though. Come back over here. Alright, so next person in line is gonna be Bulk Bogan back from his um, little excursion here. All right, and you come back over here. And Rosette Peters is over here doing his thing st st still. Payday's arriving soon. Oof, 1822. <laughs> That's gonna be most of my money. All right, I think it's about time we probably forge ourselves a weapon here meanwhile. And research should be done over here. Perfect. You can now forge the apprentice wand in your shop. You come over here. And that's about it. Let's slow it down here now so we have a chance to check everything out. Sell weapons to Elrado Mageborn. A mage, more than likely, obviously, based on the name alone. So let's go to Wands here really quickly. Elrado is right here. He wants magic and accuracy for his da um, for his wand, I should say. Perfect. So we'll try to aim for him right now. Accuracy, wands, perfect. Alrighty, so let's go with this one. No, no, that's a unique one. Everybody's back in shops. Perfect. We'll do wand, apprentice wand, and he wants accuracy. So accuracy is going to be Reset Peters' uh, little corner here. So, let's see, who's my second most accurate person here? You're a level 7 at that one, you are 12, and you, my friend, are 19. So you come over here, even, actually, you're my main enchanter, though. You stay right there. You come over here and give me a hand. And then, Bok Bogan, you come over here. I think that works out pretty good. Let's go ahead and forge his weapon. Wand. Yeah. Magic and, well, speed is actually more ideal for this weapon growth. But again, this guy's looking for accuracy, so who am I complain? Who am I to complain of what the customer wants, you know? So that works out. We'll do this one. Alrighty, now we want to boost accuracy because that's what he's looking for. Since we're a little bit low on cash and payday's coming up, I'm going to bypass this for now. We're just going to go with Reset Peters and get him to um, work on this one here for us. It's obviously not going to be great because he's not too high leveled, but, you know, we're, we're not really in a position right now to actually spend extra money on outside freelancing. So that's going to be 21 more accuracy. Perfect. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and forward this up. Now, we should be getting the enchantment coming up pretty soon. You watch this. It's going to happen. I think just when you wrap it up, it should happen, if I'm right. So, there it is. Select the enchantment. Perfect. So, we want accuracy, right? We're going to be using the accurate enchantment over here, which is going to give us plus 40 to our accuracy rating. That We have five of these, which is actually pretty good. So, there you go. That's going to go in there. 40 instant accuracy. Nice. So, that's how the enchantments actually work. I'm gonna can't name this something, right? So I'm gonna call this the, um, Zap Ya Bum. I'm gonna imagine he's gonna be like a electricity type of mage. Is that right? Electricity mage? Whatever. Anyway, handed down from the apprentice to apprentice, each wand has its own unique inscription. This one says, You suck. Uh, I don't think the Zap Ya Bum would say you suck, but okay, game. So let's go forward. Now let's go over here and sell this weapon so we can sell this off and get our next objective out of the way here. Sell weapons. So where is this dude gonna be at? Not here. More than likely at the Tower of Root Beer, if I had to imagine. There he is. Alrighty, so accurate. Zap your bum. And we're 
and we're gonna be having our main in our main vendor, which is Bog Bogan, do this one. Start selling. You run off. Excellent. Meanwhile, we'll do an exploration with the Tower of Beer one more time with Laura Craft, which is our main explorer, after all. So you come over here. And why stop there? Let Silver come over here, and we will send Reset Peters to explore that one. There you go. Everybody's got something going on. Got a multitask in this game. Bog Bogan has a buyer, and obviously want to sell it too. Our boy right here. That's going to give him up to level 7. Perfect. He maxes out at level 10. So that's a really good upgrade right there. Alright, that's going to co cover most of our pay for the next one. Not all of it, but some of it. So there you go. You're done. Reset Peters is back with the um, exploration. And you are still not maxed out, so no changing glasses for you just yet. You are also back. Excellent. Let's put you back in your station here. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. I think she maxed out, guys. Bogan, Bog, let's see what you got here for me. Money. Good. Money is good right now. That should be easily an A rating weapon as well. B rating? Excuse me. What do you mean B rating? You are the first B I've received and I don't really like that whatsoever, you asshole. Oh, it's not accurate enough. I gave you an accuracy rune in there too. Uh, Bog Bogan, you come back over here. Alrighty, so we have more story progression here. Hey Falcon, knock knock. Is this like a joke? Oh, I love knock-knock jokes. Yeah, me and you, Falcon. I guess we think alike, because we were na both named Falcon. Who's there? Ivan. Ivan who? Ivan, my cut of the profits. What? That's not funny at all. You owe me 2,000 starts this round. It's time to cough up. Ah, uh, all right. Well, we got the objective out of the way, and we also have enough money to sell to this guy, or give him his cut. Is, th is that going to cut into our payment, by the way? It better not. Man, we're actually really low on money after this guy's pay and also paying my workers. I'm not too happy about this at all. In my line of work, you always have to know. Where is the starch? Here. Snatch. And he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Alrighty, come on, come on. Congratulations, you've raised enough starch I asked for. Yeah, yeah, what do I do next? Oh, that's easy. Start getting ready for my next cut of the profits, exactly. Alright, so our next objective is to reach 2,250 fame. We're at, um, just about a little bit over the halfway marker, so that's okay. Well, we could definitely do that. Luckily, he'll maybe leave me alone for a while. We have enough money left over, or enough starch left over to pay my workers next time around. But, um, we actually have to make some more weapons meanwhile. Now, what I wanted to do before that is, uh, come over here. She is maxed out in designer, so we have to switch her class over now. So, she's at 82, which is great. And let's, uh, what do we want to switch her over to? Well, Cloud's weapon is going to actually require some speed as well. So, I guess we could probably start having her work over there. And she's already, like, a 34 in speed rating. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So, let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. If we get Craftsman and this, we'll actually unlock that, which is actually a boost for both of these classes. So there's like a little bit of a path that you can go up. Really, really good. That's good to know. Alrighty, so I'm thinking we obviously go with Craftsman then. So this will unlock the next one over here, which will be still strength related and more magic and more speed. So yeah, we'll do Craftsman right here. And you're going to lose some stats maybe? Or is it going to be a reset? Hmm, let's find out. So she's at 82 right now. Is it going to drop her down to 14, or is he just going to reset? It drops her down to 14. Oh, no. Well, that's troubling indeed. That is going to be troubling indeed. So if I want to send her back over here, she'll get her 80 back. So whenever I feel like we're ready to make Cloud's weapon, we can just jump her back over here. Preferably up here once we uh, get this one out of the way. I get you. Alrighty, that's not too difficult to wrap my head around. Even an idiot like me could figure it out. Now, what this means, though, meanwhile, is that we're not going to have anybody that's really specializing in strength weapons. So we might want to avoid making weapons for strength-related people. Alrighty, so that's good to know. Um, so you're going to be hanging out. Well, you might as well just hang out. Huh. You might as well just hang out here, then. There you go. Alrighty, so let's pause this here. Actually, let's slow it down here a little bit if we can. There needs to be, like, a legit pause feature in this game where it just hits space bar and there's, like, literally a space or a pause button over here. Uh, someone left the TV, set the door. Uh, yeah, switch it on. And we got Bulk Bogan attack for one day. That's uh, not too bad. Alrighty. So right now we need money, though. Money's our main, main concern for a while right now. So before we do any more research, any more going forward, let's uh, make something to sell weapons. And since we have two people focusing on speed, I don't think it's a bad idea to make another stiletto and sell that off if we can. Now that we have the enchantments as well, we should be able to do something really good about that one. Now, who's over here available to us? Klepto Kid, you are at level 8. You max out at 10. So let's find out here really quickly. Dagger, speed, dagger, speed. Uh, dagger and speed and secondary accuracy. So we can even sell to this rogue if we wanted to. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Dagger and you like bows, so we could even go with this guy. Oh, he's already maxed down though, so never mind. 
Hmm, dagger and accuracy. We could even go with one-eyed jack if we wanted to. So we have a few options definitely to sell. Let's go ahead and make the stiletto then. We have all the required items for this. That's great. So let's uh, make that one again. Everybody's in the right station, correct? Yes, I want to say everybody should be. So let's go start forward. And we want to go with uh, speed, we said, right? Not accuracy, speed. So speed is going to be our main thing here. Laura Craft, we could use her now. But um, she's only 13, so that's going to be pretty bad. Bulk Bogan's almost at 78, which is um, one of our freelancers over here available. So that's actually pretty good. Um, since we're low on money, I'm thinking we stay in home and actually use Bulk Bogan to boost this one up for us. Gave me a little bit of a power there, too. Hey, good on you, Hulk Hogan. You're expanding your horizons already. Good. So we got five strikes at the uh, weapon here. 28 more speed. Obviously nothing amazing, but it'll do. Now, once this is done over here, we can be basically enchanted with another speed enchantment, and then we'll be good to go. So let's actually speed it up here. This will finish up. We'll sell this off, and we'll be fine here. We have a choice of fate, though. It's time for lunch, and you're sick of the food in this neighborhood. What should you do? Let's go ahead and cook your very own... Cooking your very own enchanting stuff, sure. Uh, we lost some attack power for the day. That's fine. We're not making an attack weapon anyway. Alrighty, so we want to go with accuracy. No, no, speed, we said. Speed, Falcon. <laughs> uh, we'll use the flashy nut. Go forward. Enchant this with more speed. That's looking really ideal. It's going to bring us up to 114. And let's give this a, a, a name here. I'm going to call this the... <clears throat> excuse me for losing my voice there. <laughs> anyway, we're going to call this the... This is going to come out really late compared to when I made this comment, but in the episode 1 has come out as of this recording, episode 2, 3, 4, and 5 have not. I'm actually getting a little bit ahead because I'm thinking of releasing this one a bit more frequently, and if I do that, I'm going to have to have a little bit of a backlog already um, saved up here for us. So, um, we were, in the comments, we were reading, well, I was reading some of the comments, and people were, like, enjoying the, some of the silly names I went with, and somebody mentioned, like, you should make, like, a, a Tupac weapon, because I made the Biggie Smalls and the Puff Daddy one, and then I was like, you know what, I got a great idea, we're gonna call the next dagger, a uh, Shank Core, you know, Tupac Shakur, but instead of Shakur, it's Shank Core, because it's a dagger, you get it? Anyway, it's funny to me, okay? Anyway, there you go, the Light Shank Core. Excellent. Let's go ahead over here and sell this weapon off if we can. And we want to find our person here for that. And again, we could max Klepto Kid out if we wanted to. But let's find... Who are we looking for here? We could go with Steven Steelmany. He's at level 24, so this will max him out for sure. I guess we could get him maxed already. Deadeye likes daggers and accuracy, so he's not going to be our dude to go with here. I'm thinking... Here we go. Speed. Accuracy. We should go here. Like, the only person who's going to want to buy our weapon here is going to be um, the Shade Rogue. Because he's the only one that actually likes daggers. Everybody else can actually lowball me in money. So, we could go there. Or we could just go over and max out Klepto Kid. This guy likes bows and speed. We don't have a bow for him. We have the dagger. So, I'm thinking we go either here. One Eye Jack likes accuracy, which is something that our weapon doesn't really have too much of. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll, we'll basically go here. His secondary uh, stat is going to be accuracy, which we have a little bit of. We can't really complain. So yeah, we'll go with um, Shade. So we'll ch pick this one, and we will choose Bok Bogan. Hopefully get up to level 5 as well. We'll start selling. You, my friend, run off. Meanwhile... Alrighty. We're so broke. Look at that. 606. We need to make weapons fast. Next month's salary is going to be 1822. Or how much is that next one? I'm not entirely sure yet, but right now we're broke. We are poor as it's going to get. So, while he's over there doing that, we'll send out one more exploration here, meanwhile, and we want to continue going at the root beer, so we can get some more weapons to make more wands down the line. So, you, Laura, are going to be doing this one. And, Reset Peters, you're going to explore over here. <clears throat> Alrighty. That's fine. We have a buyer. 2,000! Thank God! I was so hoping he would give me a good prize, and that's a really decent price for this weapon. So, he's going to level up four times. His max level's 50, so... He'll definitely be buying for us for quite a while. So we'll sell it to him for sure. And sell that off? Yes. Alrighty, so you're gonna hang out over here for a while. Volondur Smith. And you are back from your selling. Perfect. We got 2300. And let's see what we're gonna get a grade here on this weapon. And meanwhile, I'm gonna have some coffee. That's actually the best weapon we've made, <laughs> according to this guy. We got an S rating. We never got an S, we keep getting A's, but apparently there's a... Uh, level above ace. What is up with the S rating as well in games? I know the S is actually really common in games like you have your, you know, your F's to your A's and whatnot, but then there's always the S 
And it's like, where did that fucking S come from? What makes you so special? Is it you're an S for special? I mean, I guess that would make sense, but there's always an S rating in games, you know? Like, you think you're, you're good, it's like, oh yeah, I got an A, but suddenly the S pops up out of nowhere, and you're like, wait a minute. Anyway, that's his little Falcon observation here on the side. He's almost up to level 30 as well, too. So, Bog Bog, you come back to your station over here. And we're waiting for these guys to finish exploring. You brought back some more stuff for me. Excellent. You come back to your station. And then you also got a few more items for me. And you come back to the station over here. So, let's um, slow down time over here. We are getting closer to our, you know, fame ranking that we need. And we right now, we need more money. So, before we do anything else, I'm thinking we sell another weapon and then we research a few more wands for sale. Because there's a lot of people that are looking for wands at that Tower of Root Beer place. So, I think it's going to be pretty good. So, we make a weapon before that happens, though. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking, what do we make now? Remember, we have no strength specifications, so we should probably not make any strength weapon related right now. So, maybe something like the Silver Bow? And we could go... You're at level 10, you're looking for a speedy bow? We could actually sell that to Ranger right now. You're already maxed out. And you are also maxed out. So, I'm thinking we go for Ranger. Definitely. So he's looking for speed, which is, you know, we have two good people at speed right now. Now, before we make that decision, Hogan, you are still not maxed out at speed. Perfect. So, forge ourselves the bow, the silver bow for Ranger, and we have all the weapons here required for that. Accuracy is going to be pretty good as well, so we'll have accuracy. What I'm thinking we do, we send this bad boy over here to give you a hand with the accuracy as well. I wonder at what point you could actually put three people to work at a station. Because right now, as you can see, we can put three people, only two per station. So at some point, it's going to unlock four, as I have to imagine. Now, we want a speed boost for sure, and we're going to be using Bog Bogan, meanwhile. Last time around, we got an S rating on the weapon anyway, so no reason not to, especially because we're low on money. Five? Got a little bit of uh, attack power there, and that's, you know, whatever. We're looking for speed, though, Bogan. Only four strikes! Come on, Boke! Anyway. Let's forward up now. We'll get our enchantment in here, get ourselves in more speed for it, and we have an area event as well. Love for Spud. There was an undead outbreak recently. We should have seen see more Spuds coming in for weapons. Starch is 1.2 and Hero Experience 1.1 for Wand and Tower Root of uh, Tower of Root Beer. Unfortunately, we're not going to be selling this weapon there, I don't think. We have to sell that in one of the other places, so we're not going to be able to benefit from this. That's unfortunate, but so be it. Sometimes this is how RNG rolls for you. So we want to use this. Luckily, we've been doing so much exploring that we have a bunch of enchantments to throw around. At least when it comes to this one and this one. Not so much in the accuracy one. Alright, so we'll use that right there. Enchant this weapon. Plus 40 for us. Excellent. It's going to bring us up to 106. And let's give this a bow here. It's going to be um, silver bow, speedy. Ah, let's see. This is going to be the, uh, the one minute man. Because <laughs> all you need with Falcon is one minute, baby. That's really not something to be bragging about, to be honest, but it's okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and... You know what? I think it's about time we wrap this up this episode. We're gonna sell that weapon off next time around. Hopefully you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support always does mean a lot. Again, let me know in the comments that you want to see some more. Keep leaving your likes, and definitely I'll try to make this a more frequent release series for sure. And that's what the idea I have right now, but again, it's gonna be based on, you know, just the support that I'm seeing for the series. If it's not too high, it's kind of like pointless for me to release it too often. I might as well just invest in another series that more people will enjoy, including you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.